Good evening, everybody. Sammy Thunder here. I'm back again with another video tonight. I'm really excited about this one because I have received my first care package from one of my subscribers, Joel Barry 16. Joel Barry 16 is one of my first subscribers to the channel. He has been following me ever since and uh, has been showing a lot of love and a lot of support in so many ways. Him and I have been kind of exchanging text messages about um, just the different type of trading cards we like, the different teams we like, the different players we like. And um, he has been very generous to send me this great care package. And I'm really excited to open it up and to see what's inside. Um, he even left a little message here, which I'll take off and I'll share with you. It's very nice. He said, Sammy, I appreciate what you do for the hobby. Love the videos. Hope you enjoy this and don't have uh, duplicates or have everything that's here. But um, listen, man, I honestly, for between everything that's happened over the last couple of weeks and um, all the support and the love that I've received from a lot of y'all, uh, thank you so much, Joel. I mean, that's really, really generous, really, you know, just over the top generous. I mean, I can only imagine what's inside here. This is a monster care package. And uh, when I received it today, I was absolutely humbled by your generosity. So thank you so much. I really look forward to opening this up and seeing what's inside. And I want to kind of share um, to everybody here that you're, you know, who you, you know, you're, to share your generosity and to share um, the kindness that you, that you exchange and just kind of show how big of a supporter you are. And, um, and I'm, honestly, I'm hoping that uh, at some point, you know, you also share some of your, your collection as well because you, I've seen the pictures you have and looks like you have a great collection. I know you're a big Braves fan, and I know there's a lot of other uh, channels here that do Braves stuff, and I'm sure they'd love to see it too. But um, we're going we're gonna, to oh, start with uh, Joel's care package. And then also today I wanted to share with you a, uh, some vintage cards that I picked up, um, which I'm going to get to afterwards because I want to focus exclusively on the care package first. So I just need to get something, need to get the box cutter to open it up. Um, as you can see here, it's a Sammy and Joy, which I'm very much looking forward to this. So without further ado, let's open it up and take a look. Now I just want to make sure I don't slice anything that, that should not be sliced. Ooh, just got to be careful there. Just trying to make sure, see if there's anything else. There we go. And let's open it up and take a look. So, oh, forget about this part. Wow. Really great. Really great way to kind of seal this. That's a, such a, a nice size of stuff here. Got some basketball, looks like. I know I love basketball. I love the um, stuff going into the early 90s. Big fan of the 80s stuff as well, as you all know. Let's see what we got here. We got some cool... Uh, Interesting cards of Nolan Ryan stuff, it looks like, in there. And some Raleigh Fingers. He knows I love Raleigh Fingers stuff. That's a more basketball, it looks like. Elgin Baylor. It's pretty cool. Some, some, uh, let's see what we got here. Some more basketball. It's kind of cool. Look forward to seeing what's inside here. So, sorry for the shaky camera. Looks like we got some Fleer in here. It's got a big, big, uh, big set here from more basketball. Looks like we got some NBA hoops on the back from the 1990 and the yep, 90 or 91 set. Card in here. Okay, we'll open this up. Some more, I think more basketball. Let's see what we got for the top loaders. We'll start there. We'll start with the top loaders and we'll work our way down into the cases here. Looks like we got this really cool David Robinson, NBA League leaders. Uh, looks like from the Fleer 94-95 and the scoring. That's a really cool card. Love the gold. The, the gold reflector. Really sweet. And awesome. This is a collection. I, this is a, a set I used to have. The Basketball Heroes Larry Bird set. Um, I used to have the entire entire set, and I think I have like a portion of it now. I never knew exactly what happened to it, but um, this is a cool, kind of like intro card to the upper deck. 
Very nice. We got a Grant Hill rookie card. I really, I, I, you know, I I don't think Grant Hill's, was he accepted in the Hall of Fame recently? I thought he was. But if he's not, he definitely deserves to be in there. He's a great player. Great player for Duke as well. Really came up came up uh, in the clutch. Uh, we got Matt Matt Harp uh, Harpering, net burners. This is a cool looking college card of him from uh, Georgia Tech. I'm not too familiar with Matt Harpering. Uh, let's see how old is this. I'm going to take this off camera to see how old it is. Uh, my eyes are not very good, so it might take me a minute here. 2004. Whoa, no. 1999? I can't really see it, but this is a cool card. I love these kind of like see-through see -through plastic cards. Got an Alonzo Morning from the college, from his college days with Georgetown. It's a nice one. What do we got here? All these like little, um, like pogs it looks like or something. Log, ca log Cabin Syrup. We got, we got Penny Hardaway in his college days. Chris Weber. I'm going to leave it sealed for now. Got these cool little uh, NBA Jam sessions with Tall Boys. Got Alonzo Mourning. A bunch of couple Alonzos and Larry Johnson. Remember, guys, remember Grandmama from uh, Family Matters? This is cool. This is very cool. Charlotte Hornets were, Charlotte Hornets were a really good team back in the day. I think a lot of people um, forget how good they were. You know, the, the duo of Alonzo Mourning and um, Larry Johnson, they tend to get overlooked because of the Knicks and the Bulls and a lot of those East Eastern Conference teams. This is very cool. Look at the Scotty Pippen. Four-time NBA All-Star. This is some sort of commemorative card. It looks really nice. It's from the Upper Deck 94. So this is when, I think this is right around the time when Scottie Pippen was very close on leading the Bulls to the championship without Jordan. I mean, they took the Knicks to six games, I believe. And Pippen was really pivotal in really in getting them close. Uh, cool looking Penny Hardaway card. With the yeah, Memphis State. Very cool looking. I grew up watching him a lot. And, you know, like the little Penny commercials. I mean, the duo between him and Shaq with, on Orlando. And this also another commemorative, looks like another commemorative card for Dominique Wilkins, one of the best high flyers in basketball. Great talent. I think I was a little, I mean, he was around when, um, like, I really grew up watching basketball in the 90s. So I think he, like, his... His peak was definitely in the 80s um, with those great Atlanta Hawk teams. But, you know, I mean, just like a lot of teams during that time, um, you know, they kind of suffered the fate of players of teams like the Boston Celtics and the, and, uh, the Detroit Pistons and the 76ers. Those were the teams that were, you know, dominating basketball. Cleveland Cavaliers a little bit too, but towards the end of the 80s. So, um, and the Hawks were in there too, but they just could never get past the Celtics or, you know, the Pistons. It was always a little bit of a struggle. So we're going to open this, uh, we'll open this one up first. Uh, tape is a little, a little stubborn here. Here we go. Let's get some more basketball. A little bit of baseball too. Got another Raleigh Fingers here. It's kind of cool. So we'll start with you know we'll start with Grant Hill. Got a cool gold gold mine Vladi Divac from the NBA hoop set. Nice John Stockton reflector. Patrick Ewing reflector from the same set. And this cool trifecta card. Michael Jordan, Mookie Blaylock, John Stockton. I feel like anything with Jordan on it is a collectible item, so it has a lot good value to it. Dennis Rodman going above and beyond. Not something you normally see with Rodman going for a dunk. You normally see him kind of uh, playing the boards. But this must, I think, yeah, this is definitely, like, I mean, Rodman has always been an, an intense defender. But I think this was right before the times where he started focusing exclusively on being a, like a top rebounder and get, making that part of his game. This is a cool card here. I got a. League leaders, 93 rebounds. There you go. We got Rodman, O'Neal, and Matumbo. 
amazing. You have two guys that are over seven feet tall and Rodman, who is about 6'8", kind of leading the way. Here we go. Larry Johnson from the Stadium Club. Sean Kemp from the Fleer 91. I think that's his uh, second year. Scotty Pippen, Sky Slams. Mahmoud Ra Abdul uh, Raouf. Yep. This is a cool-looking Hakeem Olajuwon card from the NBA Hoop set. Latrell Sprewell. Harold Miner into his rookie card. With the Jordan, I think, you know, this makes the card valuable. I mean, Harold Miner, with no, no disrespect to Harold Miner, he was a solid player. But, uh, you know, when you have Jordan on your card, it makes the value go up. Cool Magic card. I don't have this one in my set. This Skybox. Very cool. Multiple, wow, multiple Magic Johnsons. I think, I have a feeling that um, Joel knew that I really appreciated Magic Johnson cards and made sure to add all three of these. Thanks, thanks, buddy. Uh, Derek Harper, three-point threat for the Knicks. I remember him very well going to games as a kid. And we got these cards here. James Robinson. I remember these cards. Stacy King. Sean Bradley was a good player during his time. Uh, Clarence Witherspoon. Vin Baker. God, Don... Uh, uh, who, Don McLean, Kevin Johnson, Horace Grant with the famous goggles with the with the um, Orlando Magic here. Look at those. You know, I heard a story about Horace Grant that, um, you know, he, uh, I don't know if he got contacts or surgery or something, or like laser surgery to make sure that he doesn't have, to ensure that he didn't have to wear the goggles anymore. But he continued to wear the goggles to, uh, to kind of um, encourage kids who also wore glasses to play basketball and not to be deterred by it. So I thought that was really, really um, something something that we should applaud Horace Grant for, for being so um, inspiring to youngsters. Uh, we got Kenny Anderson, Todd Day. We got some, yeah, we got the Charles Barkley, Kendall Gill. Rookie card, have you? You got oh Michael Alawa Candy. I think he was. I don't know if he was the first overall draft pick at some point, but he was definitely in the top ten. And I think he they expected a lot more out of him, but I don't think he ever lived up to the expectation. From my if I remember right, got a Larry Hughes, Pat Garrity, Anton Jameson. He was supposed to be. He was good for a couple of years. Uh. Bryce Drew, Bonzi Wells. I remember Bonzi Wells. Keon Clark. Some of these players I'm not, I don't remember too much. Robert Trailer, Larry Hughes. There's another Oliver Candy. Corey Benjamin. I remember him with the Bulls. Anton Jameson again. Brian Skinner. Let's see. Um, I'm just going to put these down, actually, make it a little bit easier. Tyron, uh, Tyron Lou, I remember him. Nazir Muhammad. Bonzi Wells, Bryce Drew. And here we go, getting into the Raleigh, man. Raleigh Fingers. He knew. Look at all these Raleigh's. I actually don't have a lot of these. So thank, thank you so much, Joel. This is great. The Fleer, um, it's the 83 Fleer. Raleigh looking great, as always, with the stash. Even better here. Got the wax to make sure he was ready. 85. Got the... I actually don't have this one. Um, this is the... Uh, the 82. So this is, a, this is a great start. Thank you so much, Joel. This is honestly really cool. A lot of these... like All, all these basketball cards I don't have. So we'll start... We'll go with another stack here. We got some Fleer, some early Fleer. We got a nice little combination of different things. Leading so we got Charles Barkley, Isaiah Thomas, Reggie Miller, all Hall of Famers. We got a cool reflector, Robert Parrish. Look at that. They kind of create a reflector of his face. Christian Leitner, 
Scotty Pippen. Kim Olajuwon got more Scotty Pippen. Cool looking Dennis Rodman tops gold. And this is this is where he counted where he became alive. Playing defense. Look at how high he is above the rim. I think he's actually holding the rim. Another Harold Miner. David Robinson. Very cool. It's like a hologram. Triple double. Michael Williams. Another Dennis Rodman. Scotty Pippen. D. Brown. Keem the Dream. Another Robinson. Jamal Mashburn. Isaiah Thomas. Three point specialist and great free throw shooter Dan Marley. Reggie. More Magics. Barkley again. Dominique with the uh, with the Celtics. D. Brown. John Starks. The guy who went undrafted with the Knicks and, and really went through a lot to be able to be on the starting lineup. To eventually get there. Got Clyde the Glide. Mark Price. Clyde the Glide again. Barkley. Barkley. And here's Rodman with the hair. Rick Fox. Barkley. Dom uh, Matumbo. Cool looking J.R. Reed. David Wesley. This is Premier Prospect. Um, Greg Miner. This is Eric Montrose. Scotty Pippen. Um, da, uh, Danielle Marshall. More David Robinson. Barkley. BJ Armstrong. Joe Dumars. Luke uh, Ray. Harpley, and another Montrose. Nice stack there. Kind of a combination of some, you know, 90s and a little bit of late 80s. Which is nice. Got a big stack here, man. It's a lot of cool stuff. Sorry, it's just taking me a second to, to get the tape off some of these um, cases. So let's see what sort of cards we got here now on this stack. Isaiah Ryder, Jamal Mashburn, Nick Anderson rookie card, Michael Ansley, Drazen Dr Petrovich, Vladi Divac just got into the Hall of Fame, his rookie card. Dennis Rodman, Reggie, Chris Mullen, Larry Johnson, got him with Tumbo, Sean Kemp with a slam. Great shot of him there. Rick Fox, cool Kevin McHale from the NBA Hoops. D. Brown, a lot of D. Browns. Dennis Rodman, McHale, Ron Mercer, and of course, Larry Legend, guy who I love collecting his cards. Got Parrish, McHale, Bird Olympic cards, Magic. Robert Parrish, when we finish off with a cool commemorative Elgin Baylor card. This is really sweet. Very nice stack. He, I love collecting Larry Legends. He's one of my the basketball guys I love collecting most of. This off to the side here. Open this up properly. It's a little tricky with the tape, but you know what? I appreciate the thoroughness in um, securing these cards. Because, I mean, these cases can open very easily. So, looks like we got some baseball in here. Starting with the Nolan Ryan commemorative card. Very cool commemorative record breaker. 383 strikeouts in 1973. I don't know if that stole the record. It seems like it probably would be. Some more Raleigh Fingers. Fleer, I don't have these. Juan Marichal commemorative card from the Kmart. And we got some um, some insert cards from the active career save leaders. We got Raleigh Fingers and Palmer. Very cool. This one's from the 84 set. A lot of Raleigh. Very nice. This is great, man. Uh, I don't know if Joel watched my video uh, when I when I did the uh, break for the Don Russ 81, but one of the cards was a Raleigh Fingers, and the gum was on, like literally the gum was on 
the Raleigh, or next to the Raleigh, and there was no there was just point of no return. The Raleigh got got destroyed. Mustache got ripped off. It was the end. But this is great, man. I needed this for my uh, for the for my collection. I was devastated when I saw that the Raleigh's mustache and the card was ripped. So thank you so much. This is really sweet. More Raleigh. I don't know if Joel is as big of a Raleigh Fingers fan as I am, but he's got so much Raleigh. Very cool. Juan Marichal. Commemorative card from the, uh, this is from the 74 set, but they're celebrating it. Uh, this is Cal Ripken, I think? Who is this? Is this? Oh, Brooks, of course. It's Brooks Robinson. Yes, very cool commemorative Brooks. Another, another cool one of Brooksy and finishing off with Raleigh. This is very sweet. Thanks so much, man. I love... There's, I have so much Raleigh fingers now. <laughs> and a lot of them I don't have, which is nice. It's nice to have the uh, duplicate, duplicate copies of him. I don't know if... I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's just the respect for the, the mustache. Or just, you know, I was a closer in high school, and I was such a lame-looking closer... Like I, you know, in in hindsight, I wish I kind, of, I wish I looked like Wild Thing, like, uh, um, like Charlie Sheen as Wild Thing in Major League. I wish that could have been my, uh, my look. But instead, I was just, you know, this generic looking guy playing baseball. All right, here's another, uh, another set. We got two. Let's we got two more of these afterwards. We got some more basketball mixed in here. I can see some Topps 81, which I'm very excited about. Got Larry Johnson, Antoine Walker. I used to collect his cards a lot. I think I might still have a stack of his. Alonzo Mourning, NBA Draft, his rookie. David Robinson rookie. This is a very cool card. Rookie of the year. Magic's Moment. A lot of Magic cards. Awesome. Plenty of Magic's 89. Wow, a lot of magics. Larry Bird. A lot of birds. Bird. He, wow, this is like the set. NBA Hoops. Got the Fleer 89 All-Stars. Charles Barkley. I love this. I love these sticker sets. Uh, LeBron James with the Lakers. Got Daniel Theus. Um, can't really pronounce his name. You're not. Uh, Yinka Dor. Dor- Dare, D. Brown, more Antoine Walker. These are really smooth looking, like smooth reflectors. And you got the mailman. I uh, love these, love these little comic illustrations. The warrior. Um, I'm guessing this is Matumbo. If I ever met him, I would have him. I would ask him to sign this. He seems Matumbo seems like such a like this the nicest guy, and I love his um, the finger wag. And I don't know if y'all seen the Geico commercial that they that he's done. In the shot in the grocery store, some Scotty Pippen, some crazy looking, f- uh, some cuts there. I love these freak show cards. Chris Mullen from the uh, sticker set, some Ewing, Horace Grant, Daryl Dawkins, some of the tops eighty one cards from the seventy sixers. They got the Blazers. Uh, Cynthia Cooper, David Robinson, all rookie team. Scotty Pippen with the. With the uh, the Blazers, I forgot he went to the Blazers. Tim Duncan card just got into the Hall of Fame. Shaq, Scotty from the '93 tops. Scotty again, Scotty. Bill Hanslick from the Fleer '86 set. It's very nice. Larry Johnson, Matumbo, Grant Hill. Now we're getting to some vintage. We've got some Butch Beard. Put that into my vintage binder. Kermit Washington. Dwight Jones, Ron Boone, Lloyd Free, good player. Calvin Murphy, Hall of Famer, what a great, great player he was. Bobby Jones, Elvin Hayes, great card. And Bob Lanier, these are two great cards here. Bobby Jones as well, I mean, I love the 81 set. These are great cards. Especially Bob Lanier, commanding, just the commanding the game with his presence. He was such an intimidating player. Um, thanks so much, man. These are great cards, honestly. Just like a, like a, 
overwhelmingly great stack of stuff. Got two more to go. It's a lot of cards. But Joel, man, this is like honestly, I'm I don't you know I'm I'm lost for words on your generosity, man. I mean this is more than I could ever ask for from a care package. You definitely have raised the bar, sir, when it comes to care packages. Just trying to get the just need a little more effort to get the tape off. Let's see if that did it. Yes, there we go. This looks like a nice, nice healthy stack here. Just trying to get this last one out, but Larry Johnson does not want to come out, so we'll hold off on him for now. Let's see, we start off with the Utah Jazz, uh, the Vancouver Grizzlies, I remember them, Golden State, Detroit Pistons, all these looking cool team cards. Got a couple Barclays, the Rodman, and the Shaq card. Came the Dream, Pat Riley, Barkley again, cool Will Chamberlain commemorative card. Another Magic, D. Brown. Uh, Sean Bradley, Scotty Pippen again, O'Neal, Olajuwon, Jordan, the mailman, uh, speaking of the mailman, Clyde the Glide, cool Isaiah Thomas, Fleer, 90 All-Stars, Robinson, Pippen, you got a cool Patrick Ewing card from the sticker set, and we get back to some Bird, some Rodman, Malone, Ewing, Malone, very sweet card. Isaiah Thomas from the 87-88 uh, Fleer. Very nice card. Kim Olajuwon. A lot of cool looking cards from the uh, NBA Hoops and the Fleer. A lot of Danny Mannings. Ralph Sampson. Reggie Miller. Magic Johnson. Got Marley. Hawkins. Grant. Marley. Cool Wilkins. Back to some modern stuff. David Robinson, draft pick. Some Patrick Ewing cards. Now here come here's some more of the bird set. Very sweet. Have to put this one together. Jason Kidd. Spreewell. Here's an a lot here, Akeem Olajuwon, Fleer All Stars. Clyde the Glide, Barkley. Some cool commemorative Kareem Abdul Jabbar cards. And we finish off with Steve Smith. Very, very cool. Love this Isaiah Thomas card. Don't think I have this one. Let me get to the last one. There we go. Open that up. Finishing completing with the team cards, Mavericks, 76ers, Suns, Rockets, defensive player. Oh, it's kind of cool to do like a little, little trivia on the back. So here we go. We got Jamal Mashburn, cool Will Chamberlain commemorative card, Dominique. Got a cool Magic Johnson. More Magic. Bird versus Person. I remember this matchup. Um... Chuck Person told the media that he was going bird hunting as the rifleman, and Bird shut him down. Larry Bird, some more Keem, Stockton, ref, ref, uh, look, some holograms, more Bird, Olajuwon, a lot of Bird, a lot of Magic. Magic's coming out with this documentary um, soon, I hope. John Stockton, Reggie Miller, Rodman, a lot of Rodmans, McHale. More magic, more magic, some Robinsons, McHale, Stockton, Leitner, got Phil Jackson, Sean Kemp, James Worthy, and Isaiah Ryder. And that is one hell of a care package. Joel, my man, 
Honestly, this is ex exceedingly generous. The words I can't even come up with. This is probably one of the most ultimate care packages I've ever received. Full of like nothing but stars. So much like so many so much bird magic. It like it's boosting my collection. Um, I love collecting those cards. I love being you know like I got, I grew grew up watching old videos of Larry Bird and Magic Johnson in the eighties. I was too young to really kind of grasp and understand the rivalry at the time, but. Um, now, at the age that I'm at, it's, uh, it's incredible, and I wish I could have lived during those, I could have been, um, I could have understood what, you know, that rivalry meant at the time, um, but, you know, I was a product of the 90s, uh, as far as watching basketball, when I really kind of understood it, and the rivalry between the Knicks and the Bulls, I guess it's sort of made up for it, but there's, you know, you'll never see that sort of rivalry again between, or maybe you will, but not anytime soon between, you know, Bird and Magic. It was just something special. So I'm really appreciative that you went, took the time and went through your collection to find these really cool Bird and Magic cards on top of all the other cards as well. But, uh, you know, and also the Raleigh Fingers, the Nolan Ryans. Really, man, just thank you so much. And if you're not subscribed to Joel Barry, I'm gonna put his information in, in the description. I think you should definitely um, show some love to him, subscribe to his channel, and um, yeah, I mean, he's a he's a big supporter of what we do in this community, and it's people like him and that really kind of uplift us, the well, those that do share their cards on YouTube and that share their collections. It, it's inspiring, honestly. So, Joel, Joel Barry 6, man, thank you so much. I'm very much appreciative of your support. And um, going forward, man, we'll, we'll definitely keep, you know, keep in contact. And uh, I'll definitely put some cool things together for you to send back, send, you, send back your way. Um, so, what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to put the cards, that, the, these cards, the care package, off to the side for a minute. Uh, I want to quickly just get to the second part of this video is um, today, as some of you might know, I, every Saturday, or trying to do every Saturday, I set up a table um, in my neighborhood. They have a farmer's market, and I kind of set up off, away from the market, like around the block. And there's a lot of people there. There's people that do um, antiques of various sorts. I'm the only guy that only person there that does baseball cards and every now and then I get some people who stop by um, some locals that live in the area and they have collections and you know they want me to look at it and a lot of these guys have great stuff um, there's one guy named Glenn who I befriended and uh, he works for a church that's right across the street does a lot of carpentry does a lot of uh, maintenance work for them and he told me that he has like a box, uh, like a, like a, like a tin and a uh, bags full of cards from the '60s and uh, 1970. And so he wanted me to look at them, and um, you know, uh, pretty much just wanted me to take a look at them. And you know, most of the cards that he had were not really um, there was no there weren't any real like serious stars in there. Mostly common players, but um, I, I never say no to adding to my collection. He was interested, he was open to selling them. And um, honestly, I think he may have seen, he, I think he probably looked at it as being space, like space issues, just wanted to clear it out. And so I went ahead and I looked through the collection and there was, you know, a lot of great stuff. The condition is not perfect, but you know, we have to kind of go in knowing that the condition on these cards is not gonna be over the top great. Um, let me just sort through these real quick because I actually forgot that, to mention that there's a third part of this video and that is that I received in the mail some more cards to add to my 69 collection. But we'll get, I'll get to that. These are just some of the cards that he had in his collection. Um, I paid, I gave him 150 for everything. You know, I wasn't 100% sure what the total price would come to given the condition of the cards. Um, I offered 150 and he was very happy to take it. So 
whether it's worth more, worth less, I'm okay with it because I want to be able to, to support him and um, be able to kind of show my appreciation for him kind of taking the time out to um, let me allow me to go through some of his cards that he has. But these are some of the ones that I found in there. This is like a 69, uh, 68 Phil Negro card. A little, you know, the condition is not great. There's a lot of creases, but I'll kind of go through these. And just, uh, you know, just uh, allow you to see what what's in here. Some 69, 68s, and 1970s, I think, is the majority of what I found in here. A lot of team cards. A lot of duplicates, it looks like. Some, you know, some are in better condition than others. Um, but yeah, this, you know, there's a nice little collection. Boop Powell, that's a nice card. Dave Johnson. Paul Blair. I think there's a Frank Robinson in here. There's Frank, but the condition, you know, he is pretty beat up. But still, having a Frank Robinson, I didn't have this card before. This is from the 67, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. More 69 cards, which I can add to my PC. So this, there's multiple stacks. Some good stuff. Hank Allen. Not Hank Aaron. <laughs> Phil Ortega. Tommy McGraw. More team cards here. And you got some 77s mixed in. Um, or 77s, I think. Of uh, all the Yankees. You got Jim Hunter. Catfish. Got a Mets team card. So that was one stack. Jim Hunter again. Bucky Dent. Greg Nettles. A lot of Yankees. I thought this was a cool card. Um, it was clearly uh, kind of like a little thing you can do. Scratch instructions. Play nine different nine full innings. And you scratch the back. It looks like he did it at some point. Burt Campaneris, the A's. Reggie Jackson, Thurman Munson, Jim Wynn. These are all upside down. Mets, rookie stars. Mike Jorgensen. Some more Mets. No Nolan Ryans. Otherwise, I would have offered him a lot more money. If there was a Nolan Ryan, I skipped it, then I would need to have a conversation with him. That was pretty, pretty thorough when I was searching through these. I would have stopped immediately. It's a cool checklist uh, that it was um, written on. Got a Willie Randolph and Art Shamsky. Some good cards. Runs Voboda. So, mostly commons in here. Got Tito Francona. Let's move a stack. Dennis Mankey, Rusty Staub. That's his uh, third year car. Um, five years total. Mother Rusty, Roberto Rodriguez, more team cards. So these will probably go into the vintage binder that I have, and any of the 69s uh, that, I, that I'm missing in, in my 69 binder will go in there. Got a lot of uh, cool vintage comments here, though. I still have a lot of work to do with the, um, the other lot that I purchased. I have a lot of commons from the 72 to 81 box that I purchased. And I have to go through those. It's a cool one. Bird Hill Aces. I think I have this one. Paul Blair. Dave Johnson Rookie. Or Dave Leonard Rookie, excuse me. Dave McNally. Dave May. Earl Weaver. A lot of Orioles. Hank Allen.
these down. I'm kind of filling my hand up a little bit with these cards. Russ Nixon, some written on Joe Harlan, Horlin, Big Pope. We have one more stack to go. So, pretty nice altogether. A lot of 69, a lot of 68s and 69s total. A lot of team cards. Didn't have a lot of this 1970s card, so it's kind of nice to to add that. I mean, I'm, at some point, I know I will build this collection. So in some ways, you know, despite the condition of some of these cards, it is a start to be able to um, get a lot of these commons out of the way and um, to allow me to build up the collection without having to worry about where am I going to find these commons. So at some point, I will start buying the stars of some of these players from these different years. After I finish the 69, I can move on to something else and kind of figure out which set to build and, you know, whether it being, um, you know, 1969, 68, 70. There's a lot of 68 and 70s cards here. So it's a very healthy stack. Ray Washburn. Here's some Yankees. Cardinals and finish it off here. So a lot of uh, a lot of vintage commons in here. And finally for the end of this video, I picked up a, a Facebook order that I made, Facebook mail of some 69 cards from a um, from one of the Facebook groups. I can't remember which one it was, whether it be vintage baseball cards or um, was it some other set builders. But anyway, needed these cards to add the collection. We got Tony Oliva, All Star, Bill Mazeroski, Sam McDowell, we got Kurt Flood, Burke Campanaris, Don Kessinger, Brooks Robinson, Ron Santo, Tim McCarver, Tom Ber uh, Bergmeyer, Cecil Upshaw, Joe Pepitone, Rico Cardi, Gene Mausch, Dick Simpson, got a uh, 69 rookie stars, Bobby uh, Darwin, John Miller, Tommy Dean, Bobby Wine, Eddie Watt, we finish off here, A stars, Sal Bando, Burke Campanaris, and Danny Cater. So a lot of work I need to do tonight, just need to get through organizing a lot of these. Um, the lots, uh, the care package again from Joel Barry. Thank you, man, so much. There's um, a lot of great stuff here. At some point, I will get around to organizing and sorting these out. There's a lot on my plate right now, but they're great cards, and um, I love these basketball cards, kind of like from the early 90s as well as the 80s. A nice mixture, a nice combination, a lot of great birds and magics as well. And... Um, Again, for those that are watching tonight, thank you so much, guys. Your support means everything, so please hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button if you enjoy the vintage, if you enjoy the retro, and you enjoy a little bit of junk wax. That's my bread and butter, but mostly vintage. That's where I love to kind of put myself and position myself whenever the opportunity comes up. But uh, thank you all so much, guys. Y'all have a great night. Take care.